I'm Lydia and I've been a fashion and lifestyle influencer for four years now. Having recently established my YouTube channel, I thought it was time to start a series where I could share the tips and tricks I've learned along the way. Not only through my career, but also the years spent consuming street style, fashion photography and literature. A little tongue in cheek, this series is entitled Lessons with Lydia and it's going to be focused around how to's and generally mastering the art of living a stylish life. Predominantly focused on fashion with interjections of beauty and maybe some interiors, I'll be sharing weekly some of the steps I use from how to get dressed in the morning to choosing the perfect handbag. So sit back and enjoy this series. Hello everyone and welcome back to the next Lessons with Lydia episode 2 and before we get into the video I just want to say thank you so so much for all the comments, the private DMs and the messages saying that you loved the first episode. That honestly means so, so much to me. I wasn't sure how you were gonna react to it, if people would like it, and turns out you did. I don't think I received one negative comment, which was amazing. So thank you so, so much to everyone who watched it. And I'm bringing you the next episode with Lessons with Lydia. Um, so today's episode is all about bags, finding the perfect handbag. A bag over anything is probably the most important accessory it kind of acts as our armory we wear it with us every day and it kind of contains a safety kit of things that we need throughout the day so i think there is a lot of importance in a bag and so it requires a thought and also a video on it so for this reason it has to strike the perfect balance between practicality but also suiting your personality so hopefully this video will go into how you can find your perfect bag and the different types of bags you might want to purchase and build your bag collection with. We've all had those moments where we've purchased the most impractical of bags and bags can be an investment. So I really wanted to hone in on this and focus on getting the perfect handbag. So tip number one is focus on your life and your needs. So it's all well and good seeing a bag that you absolutely love on your favourite person on Instagram, but you need to kind of take into account that for one, they may have 100 bags at their disposal and maybe mixing and matching all the time. And at two, that might not be the bag that suits your lifestyle and your personality the best. So if your budget is allowing you a single bag purchase, then take into account what your lifestyle is. So for example, if 90% of the time you are running around after children, you maybe have a really busy lifestyle, you often maybe discard your bag on the floor or in the car, I mean, we all do it. You may be one of those people who perhaps require a really practical bag and a lambskin leather cream bag um, is just not really viable for your lifestyles. So instead you want to focus more on the fabric, what kind of fabric won't wear um, as much as say something like a lambskin. You perhaps want, I personally found grained leather wears a lot better. I um, have a bag from, in fact, so I have this Gucci bag that I got. This is my very first designer bag purchase, which I've spoken about before. And I got this, I'm trying to work out how old I was, maybe about 18, 19, so years ago now, I'm 25 now. You can see, let me show you, it is in such good condition. And let me tell you, I have used this bag. I've used it for uni, I've used it for so many things. I've got some padding in there now, but you can see it's very um, well used and it's not barely scuffed at all actually so although gucci is definitely an investment this was actually in the sale so it was such a good bargain it is worth perhaps investing a little bit more in a bag and something like a grained leather like this would be a lot more durable for you than a softer leather and also it's not just about the fabric but also the style 
So going back to that example, if you're a very busy, on the go mum um, and you want something just cross body, you need to think about that style is a kind of Lady Dior structured style bag going to work for your lifestyle? Probably not. So go for something perhaps slouchier in a grained leather instead. Tip number two is practicality. So practicality nicely follows on from tip number one. And you kind of need to think about what kind of person you are in a way. Um, if you are very scatty, for example, or on the other hand, like to be really, really organized, then the bag you want is something that one contains a lot of zips and easy to find pockets, maybe card holders, things like that, that you can definitely find everything in. If you're very organized like me, I'm a bit OCD organized, um, then everything will be in its place and easy to find and easy to access and the same goes if you're a bit of a disorganized person, gravitate towards something that will make your life simpler. If for example you are looking for a smaller bag, this is particularly Diddy, um, this one is the Saint Laurent Sunset bag that I got a few years ago now and I actually love this size, I think the other size is a little bit too bulky for me, um, but this size is great, but if you are looking for a smaller size bag and aren't sure whether to get it or not, I would recommend... So this is where the practicality comes in. So it's got a zip pocket there, and it's got, if you can see, card holders here, an extra pocket at the back here, and another pocket there. So try and find a bag that, despite the size, really maximizes the space. Also, make sure there's enough room to fit your keys, your phone, your lipstick, because there's nothing worse than buying a bag and your phone doesn't fit in. And then you've got to either carry it in your hand or a pocket. So always try and do a phone test if you can. Also in terms of practicality, always, always look for a bag that has a zip to it just in case you're carrying loose change or important things like cards around, keys even, have a zip so that you can just keep that really, really safe. Or alternatively, if there isn't a zip, make sure the bag is kind of roomy enough or there's room enough to fit maybe a little wallet or something that you can keep all those essentials really secure in. Tip number three is try it on. So obviously because of COVID and not being able to go into shops, that has maybe been difficult and it might be difficult perhaps for you in the next few months. But in general, my rule would be to try it on, especially if it's an expensive bag because they're a big investment and you want to make sure it's right because otherwise you definitely won't get your cost per wear. One of the reasons I say try it on is because going back to that idea of seeing something on Instagram, you often don't know the proportions or sizes of that particular person. So for example, if you're very petite, then one particular style of bag, if it's like an oversized crossbody, just may look a bit overwhelming on you and vice versa. If you're tall, a tiny little bag might not work with the proportions of your body. So always think about yourself and what would look the best on you. I'd also say that when you are going to try on a bag, wear an outfit that is very typically you because you may find that one bag that you try on really, really suits the outfit that you've got on on that day, but that might not be something that you tend to wear. You might have dressed up a little bit more um, and that might not be your typical outfit. So wear something that is most you. So for me, I'd probably go for something like a blazer and leather trousers um, because that kind of summarizes me and something that I would wear from summer to winter. So wear something that is typically your outfit and that you know would work with a lot of your wardrobe. Sometimes I've tried on a bag and I've instantly known it was for me just by trying it on. So I really, really would recommend doing that. So tip number four is multi-use. Going back to the idea if you're just making one bag investment, let's face it, most of us do. We just go for one bag every so often. So we need to really make sure it's the right one. So 
Definitely make sure it's multi-use if you're just buying this particular bag and want to get your cost per wear out of it. So this was one of my best bag purchases. You'll probably see this pop up throughout the video. This is one of my best bag purchases and the reason for that is because I have used it so, so much because it is multi-use, multi-purpose. It is a really good size for fitting just the essentials in. I mean, it's not massive, but fits all of the essentials in. You can wear it for evening, you can wear it with this chain strap tucked in, so it's literally just a cute little clutch. You can wear it crossbody. You'll have probably seen it loads on my Instagram if you don't follow me on there already. It is at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. This bag has been worn tons. Um, again, it's a Gucci one. Got it quite a few years ago. It's called Gucci Bowie, and I don't think it's around anymore. Um, but if it is, I'll link it. It's very, very multifunctional. Looks really nice for day, and then the chain strap looks really nice if you want to wear it crossbody in the evening too. So make sure you kind of get everything right. The fabric's not perhaps too daytime, but it's not too eveningy. The strap again, doesn't go just for one. It can be used multifunctionally. Um, I would say definitely a strain chain strap is really good for that. And also make sure the size is right. So if you want to wear it from day to evening, I'd suggest going for a bag that isn't too big. So tip number five is colors. So colours to me is actually one of the most important aspects when you are looking to buy a bag and that all kind of depends on one thing or another. So for example, if you are somebody who has three black bags already and you wear them all the time, you absolutely love them, you really get your cost per wear and money's worth, it could go one or two ways. So you could be somebody that thinks, great, I've got three black bags, I don't need another black bag because I've already got some. Or you could be the person who thinks, well, that's the only shade I wear, I find it really useful, my others are a bit older now, so I want to invest in a new style. So it could go one or two ways depending on your wardrobe, what kind of person you are, um, what your style is, what your usual colours and tones are. If you're gonna venture into a completely different colour and spend a thousand pounds on a bag, then it's, I don't know, I don't feel like it would work out very well because you're just going into the complete unknown and it, you'll probably get a bit bored of that. You need to go for something that is classic to you. And if you are a little bit unsure of this, take a look through your wardrobe, what colours seem to pop up the most, have a flick through your camera roll or some old photographs and see what bags come up time and time again. If it's always a black bag, um, then you can have a think, maybe it's worth investing in another updated version of the black bag because they are so useful to you. So definitely assess the colours and what you think is right to your life and personality. So tip number six is styles. So this slightly veers off because I've constructed this list for people who really want to grow their bag collection but perhaps aren't sure where to start. So bags for me are something that are quite sentimental. They're obviously a big investment. Something I often, I can always actually remember the time when I purchased a bag. I don't know, it just seems quite a personal thing to me and something that really sticks with me. Um, so for that reason, my bag collection is still growing. It's by no means complete and it's something that I add to every year or two. Um, I really look for that investment bag that I know I'll get so much wear out of and the ones I have, I really have thought about them and definitely think I've got my money's worth from them. So what I'm gonna do now is list what I think are some essential styles of bags to have in your capsule bag collection that you perhaps want to build in. On, not in. So the first one is the multifunctional bag. I know I mentioned a bit about the black Gucci one being quite multi-purpose, but I think this definitely is as well. So this is my Louis Vuitton, um, don't know how to pronounce it properly, Marignan. I'll link it below anyway, and it's in the sesame colour here. So with this bag, I definitely think you can dress it up or down, and I think one of the reasons for that is the crossbody strap. So that definitely makes it a lot more casual because otherwise 
it's quite a structured formal bag with a top handle like that but it is multi-use so I think this would look really great for work for a more corporate environment really smart bag but then I think you can definitely dress this down with a pair of trainers and um a shirt or something really casual t-shirt and it looks really good quite stand out i think because of the pattern and the colors in this bag it kind of gives that little pop of i wouldn't say color it's not so much color but little pop of something different as opposed to a black bag whilst also really blending in with the outfit. So this one is quite roomy, you can see all the pockets, it's got one big pocket at the back, big one in the middle, some at the front and then one here. So this is very roomy, multifunctional, you could take this on a day trip out with you, um, say if for example, if I go to London, I want a bigger bag because I'm gonna spend the day there. I want a few more things with me than just perhaps lipstick and phone. So this is really good for that. Really great for work. And then dress down more casually with a cute little summer's dress and sandals. I think this would look really nice too. So the first is a multi-functional bag. So another bag to add to your collection is the basket bag. Obviously, these come back round every summer, so I feel like if you want to make the investment but feel like perhaps you won't get your wear out of it, I can reassure you that you will because basket bags come back time and time again. And I'm so glad I got this Loewe one. I've worn it so much since I bought it. It, it was an investment for a basket. But like I say, I've worn it loads and absolutely love it. Still not falling out with it at all. Um, it's got the lovely tan straps. This is actually a really strong one. This has turned into a bag review, but um, this is actually quite a strong bag. But I do think basket bags come back year after year. They're a good one to have for every single summer. Really nice for the airport. You can chuck loads in it. I usually use it for the airport to actually put other bags inside it so that I can take more than one thing away with me if it's a bit awkward to fit in my case. For me, as I say, one of the most essential styles is this. So a black crossbody bag with a chain strap. For all the reasons I mentioned before, so it works really, really well for evening. The chain strap dresses it up a little bit and I think the chain strap, when you see like um, a back silhouette, if you're wearing like a nice blazer or something sharp, the chain strap looks really nice against your coat or your jacket. So definitely a chain strap and black as well. And in a kind of small to medium size, so flexible, so wearable, and you'll be wearing it for years and years. So something I don't have and really want to add to my collection is maybe a tote or slouchy style bag. So it's something that's a little bit more practical, a little bit bigger, definitely daytime orientated. I'd perhaps just go for a black and then I could wear that right through from um, winter to summer. I know Cos do some great slouchy bags. Where else? Just um, perhaps under the stories I've seen some in. But usually you can find one in, in those kinds of brands, Arquette, things like that. But a good slouchy tote bag is so practical. You can use it for all daytime occasions and it dresses down an outfit as well I think. So another bag I think is a good one particularly for summer is maybe a crossbody straw rattan natural fiber type of bag like the Loewe horseshoe one um, I think those are so so useful a little bit smaller than the basket bag a little bit more just chuck it on for when you're running around um, and don't want and just want hands free kind of thing and you're not carrying too much um, I do think those are really really useful for summer and I'm kind of got my eye out for the perfect one but I always I think if you are looking to purchase a specific seasonal bag so something that is very very winter or very very summer then go for it at the beginning of the season whilst you're gonna get your wear out of it all that season so my penultimate on the bag list is a novelty bag so this one's probably the least essential in a way but definitely something that you can really jazz your wardrobe up with if you've completed the others and got those capsule ones I think a fun novelty bag you can't go wrong with especially if you're dressing up in the evening and perhaps have a really simple outfit on and then pop something like this pearl bag with it this is from Giovanna London 
but any kind of pearl beaded, feather bag, flat feather clutch or interesting, unusual shape, something a bit novelty. Just add something to the outfit that another bag perhaps wouldn't and you could wear that with a blazer and jeans, it looks really good or go full on eccentric in a floral flowing dress, headband, earrings and a pearl bag. A bit like um, the Fashion Bug blog, if you follow her, you'll know her outfits are very feminine and kind of, she wears a lot of these style bags. So I do think, although they are not essential, they can have a place in your wardrobe. So my final one is the travel bag. And for me, it's not something I've actually got yet, but I, <laughs> I know I need one so badly because I'm sure we've all had these times when you've perhaps gone for a weekend away and you've got a mini suitcase, so a little tiny suitcase. And let's face it, they do not fit much in at all. But the fear is that you're gonna look too high maintenance <laughs> if you swap a smaller suitcase for, you know, a proper week's holiday kind of suitcase. So you've got your mini suitcase and then you've got all those awkward things like beauty products, accessories, belts, a couple of pairs of shoes, and they just don't fit into the tiny mini wheel along suitcase. And that's where the travel bag comes along. So you can just throw all those awkward things inside there, chuck it over your shoulder, wheel your bag along. It's not too high maintenance looking. You can just carry it around, really practical, a nice big hold all. And yeah, I do think that is a good addition to your bag wardrobe and something that I think I need in my wardrobe. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know by giving it a thumbs up or a comment if you've liked it. And any ideas for the next episode of Lessons with Lydia, leave me a comment or a DM would be much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.